Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a fascinating question from the world of C and C++ programming. Our viewer asks, correct unsigned integer comparison. Let's break down the problem. Our viewer is grappling with the nuances of comparing signed and unsigned integers. Specifically, they want to know which method is more efficient across different architectures, like Intel and ARM. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me and hopefully you get through that resolution. So, let's continue on. In C and C++, comparing signed and unsigned integers can lead to unexpected results. For example, the expression negative one is greater than two as an unsigned integer evaluates to true. This is due to how the language handles type promotion. Let's consider the comparison scenario where we have an integer x and an unsigned integer y. We need to determine the most efficient way to compare these values. One approach is to promote both to a larger sign type, like in 64. The first method involves a zero extend and a sign extend operation, followed by a single comparison. The second method avoids sign extension, but requires two comparisons. Traditional wisdom suggests that branches are more costly than sign extensions. In cases where the unsigned value is a smaller type than the signed type, we can perform a single zero extend followed by one comparison. Here, we need to evaluate if this method is still preferable over the two comparison method. Finally, if the result of the comparison leads to an actual branch, we can structure our functions accordingly. For instance, using a long, long type for the comparison can help maintain clarity and correctness in branching logic. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To compare unsigned integers correctly, you can widen both arguments to int max t, the largest integral type. Check if both can fit into int max t and perform a widening conversion if they can. In C++, you can use a safe comparison template that utilizes ESTED numeric limits to handle different integer types safely. This template checks if both types are signed or unsigned and compares them accordingly. The provided code includes a safe GT function that implements this logic. It ensures correct comparisons between signed and unsigned integers with assertions to test its functionality. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This solution introduces a template-based approach for comparing signed and unsigned integers. It ensures correct comparisons by converting signed integers to unsigned while handling negative values appropriately. The main function demonstrates the use of the unsigned less function with various integer types, showcasing how it correctly compares signed and unsigned integers.
Let's now look at another user suggested answer. In a recent keynote, Andre Alexandrescu discussed designing a checked integer class. He highlighted a method for comparing signed and unsigned integers effectively. The approach involves two comparisons. First, check if the signed variable is negative. If it is, return the unsigned variable directly. If the signed variable is not negative, promote or cast it to an unsigned type before performing the comparison. And that's it. I hope that that's helped find the solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Every time you hit it, it really helps. Now, I'll see you next time. Next time you need some technical help. And until then, have a good one.